Who doesn't want to look like a million bucks on a budget? Okay, ladies, I know this is a topic that you love, love, love to learn more about. And as I introduced in the teaser, it's how to look like a million bucks, but on a budget. Yep. Most of us want to look fantabulous without spending a penny. Am I right? Or at the very least, two pennies. And I know each of us has looked at a well-dressed woman and wondered how they managed to exude an air of sophistication and elegance without burning a hole in their wallets. Although I think it's fair to say that some actually do burn a hole in their wallet because we do know many women spend a fortune on their wardrobe. And we all know that the key to looking good lies in carefully curated outfits. But the price tags on high-end clothing can often seem discouraging, right? So what if I told you that there are few insider secrets to achieving an expensive and luxurious look without breaking the bank? Tip number one. To take your style game to the next level, it's essential to master the art of savvy shopping. By making smart choices when it comes to purchasing your clothes, you can create a wardrobe that looks expensive without breaking the bank. First and foremost, it's important to resist the temptation of impulse buying. It's all about intentional shopping. And I love that word, intentional, because it really makes us think and be thoughtful about what we're doing. So whether that's, you know, intentional exercising or intentional eating, but we can also take it into the shopping range. And intentional shopping is very important. So before making a purchase, take a moment to ask yourself if the item truly fits your personal style and if you can envision yourself wearing it multiple times. I always incorporate the rule of three, which uh, it just makes it super easy to purchase something because I think about three different ways to incorporate that new item into my wardrobe. Investing in versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched will give you more outfit options without spending a fortune. And that's what we want. Another key tip is to keep an eye out for sales and discounts. Honestly, the holiday season has retailers discounting items on a regular basis. But if you want to stay in the know, sign up for newsletters or follow your favorite brands on social media to stay updated on any upcoming sales or promotions. Additionally, consider shopping during off season when retailers often offer significant discounts to make room for new inventory. This way you can snag high quality items at a fraction of the original cost. But again, I want you to be very intentional about your shopping. So when you're shopping off season, just really cur curate, create a list of the items that are missing from your closet and then go out shopping. And thrifting and consignment shopping are also fantastic ways to score unique and affordable pieces. Check out your local thrift stores, consignment shops, or even online platforms where you can find pre-loved designer items for a fraction of their original cost. With a little patience and persistence, you might stumble upon a hidden gem that adds a touch of luxury to your wardrobe. Stop by my Poshmark store where you can shop all of my pre-loved items at a fraction of the cost and I'll have that link down below in the description box. And don't forget to explore budget-friendly brands and online marketplaces. Many retailers offer affordable options that mimic the latest trends without the hefty price tag. Additionally, online marketplaces like eBay, and I just mentioned Poshmark, they provide an opportunity to purchase pre-owned designer items at significantly reduced prices. And another one that I like is ThreadUp. There's also Real Real more and more are just popping up all the time. To make the most of your shopping experience, it's crucial to have a clear understanding of your personal style. Again, I said, you know, create that list, curate the items that you're missing from your closet that aligns with your personal style. And again, what works for your body type. By knowing your measurements and preferred silhouettes, you can avoid buying ill-fitting clothes that end up collecting dust in your closet. Remember, it's not about the quantity of your wardrobe, but the quality and how well the pieces fit you. Lastly, consider the cost per wear principle. When evaluating a potential purchase, think about how often you'll wear the item and for how long it will remain in style. By opting for timeless pieces that can withstand the test of time, you'll be able to maximize your investment and 
Create a wardrobe that truly reflects your personal style. My dad taught me this principle years ago when I was a teenager, and he knew that I had a penchant for uh, shopping and fashion, but he wanted me to think about my clothes as an investment. So he made me prorate every item and you know think about like how long I would have it in my closet. Did I think I was gonna have it for five years? So that was the cost, you know, so I had to do the math. And anyway, it really instilled in me just that thoughtful, intentional way of shopping because it really made me think about my clothes as an investment rather than a liability. And listen, we all make fashion mistakes. I've made them, you've made them, but as we age, we should be making fewer mistakes than when we were in our 20s. By implementing these savvy shopping tips, you'll be well on your way to looking like a million bucks without draining your bank account. With a little creativity, patience, and a keen eye for bargains, you can create a wardrobe that is both stylish and affordable. So go ahead, unleash your inner fashionista, and conquer the world with confidence. Another way to look like a million bucks is adding an accessory such as a belt to your look. Leaving your top untucked can actually make you look bigger than you actually are. And a belt is a surefire way to define your waist and make your silhouette appear slimmer. Since y'all know I have a love affair with belts and add them to an outfit anytime I get, I'm thrilled to partner with Ada Belts again and show how to wear their wrap belt that comes in three colors, tan, cognac, and black, and three different widths. A beautiful leather belt screams luxury, and the more you use it, the better it looks. The wrap belt is contoured like a smiley face, that's so it will hug nicely around your figure and give you a waistline. Place a smiley face up, bring the ties back and crisscross and bring the ties to the front. Then you tie the ties like your shoelace. Voila, a waistline in a cinch. Fun fact, Ada Belts is a small family owned company that creates products for women who love fashion and believe accessories update and elevate your outfit. How many times have I shared that accessories make or break your outfit? That's why I'm a big believer in investing in belts. Today, Ada Belts is giving my subscribers 15% off your purchase with my code BETH15. I'll have everything linked below in the description box. And your belt comes with instructions on how to tie up multiple ways. I've chosen two different outfits to showcase just how modern you can make an outfit with the addition of a belt and look like a million bucks. I love shirt dresses in the summer and sweater dresses in the winter time, and I regularly wear them. But they can be shapeless, which can give off a frumpy vibe. When I add a leather Ada belt, it instantly adds a flattering shape. Skirts with an elastic waistband can look frumpy, but not when you add a chic belt that can easily disguise the waistband. For this outfit, I started with a pleated skirt and simple blouse. Add an Ada belt that cinches in my waist and gives it definition. Drape a cardigan or blazer over the top and you have an outfit perfect for any casual event. Tip number three. Another clever way to look like a million bucks on a budget is to master the art of styling hacks. These little tricks and techniques can make a world of difference in elevating your look without breaking the bank. First, it may be time to declutter your closet. Yep. A closet cleanse is an important step to understanding your personal style. It may take an entire afternoon to empty your closet, then go through your clothes item by item asking three questions. One, does this item actually fit? You may have gained weight, you may have lost weight. Bodies change, ladies, as we age. It's just a reality. So think about the fit of your item. Question number two, have I followed the one year rule? If I haven't worn it in a year, it's time to let it go. Ruthless? Yes, but it works. And question number three, is this item damaged? Does it have moth holes, broken zippers, pilling, or missing buttons? Or can the item be repaired? Having a great seamstress and shoe cobbler is a must. This next tip honestly is so important because this kills me. I hate it when clothing stores do this. They have a beautiful cashmere sweater or a delicate silk top, and they hang it on this big, bulky plastic hanger and stretch out the shoulders. Sadly, that type of damage often cannot be repairable, and it ends up making your clothes look sloppy. 
even when you pay big bucks for them. So spend time storing your clothes correctly. The easiest way to get started doing this is to know what to hang in your closet versus what should be folded in a drawer. So I'm gonna go over a few, uh, few items that we should always hang and then a few items that we should always fold. So you wanna hang flowing fabrics like modal and silk, anything that tends to wrinkle or crease easily, like linen pants, blouses and button down shirts, jackets, suits, and these are the items we want to fold. Sweaters, t-shirts, active wear and athleisure wear, swimsuits, underwear, of course, lingerie, bras, they need to lay flat in a drawer, and then your linens and towels, but that doesn't necessarily deal with fashion, but we always wanna be folding those too. And next, we wanna consider dressing for our lifestyle. Our clothes should not only make us look fabulous, but also be practical and appropriate for our everyday activities. By dressing for our lifestyle, you can ensure that we feel comfortable, confident, and we're ready to take on each day with style. So consider the demands of your daily routine and the occasions you typically find yourself in. Are you still a busy professional who spends most of your time in the office? Or perhaps you're a grandparent who needs clothes that are versatile and easy to move in. Maybe you travel a lot. There are a lot of different things to consider, but understanding our lifestyle will help us make informed choices when it comes to selecting the right clothing pieces. If you're still in the working world, tailored pieces in classic colors and versatile fabrics can create a polished and put together look. Think sleek blazers, well-fitting trousers, and sophisticated blouses. By investing in timeless and high quality pieces, you can build a wardrobe that will stand the test of time and effortlessly transition from the boardroom to after work events. On the other hand, if your daily routine involves more casual settings, you have the freedom to experiment with a wider range of styles. Embrace comfortable yet stylish clothing, such as well-fitted jeans, trendy sneakers, and statement sneakers. You can mix and match different textures and patterns to infuse personality into your outfits while keeping them practical your day-to-day -day activities. No matter what your lifestyle entails, it's important to consider comfort and functionality when choosing your clothes. Ensure that your clothing choices allow you to move freely, whether you're running errands, attending meetings, or enjoying social activities. Opt for breathable fabrics and prioritize clothing items that can withstand the demands of your daily life. By dressing for your lifestyle, you'll not only feel more comfortable and confident, but you'll also exude authenticity in your style choices. My next tip is don't underestimate the power of a well-kept appearance. Taking care of your clothes, ironing them, and ensuring they fit properly can make a huge difference in how they look on you. Simple things like tucking in your shirt, rolling up your sleeves, or adding a cuff to your jeans can instantly make your outfit look more put together and polished. I keep a steamer in my closet for fast, easy touch-ups that make a difference in my appearance. But don't forget our shoes need to be kept in tip-top condition too. If you need to resole your shoes, repair the heel, or simply get a shoe shine, pay attention to the condition of your shoes. And my next tip is lose the buttons. This tip separates the men from the boys, or should I say women from the girls. If you want your clothing items to have that wow factor, then remove the buttons that our off the rack clothes come with and put on your own custom buttons. That's because the buttons are the first place that companies start cutting costs to increase their margins. In general, when it comes to buttons, most companies are using the cheapest plastic ones they can find. But when you buy from really luxe brands, they have, or should have, super nice buttons. But you can also find lots of great new and vintage options on websites like Etsy. This one small replacement will cost you only a couple of dollars, but will turn your shirt from generic fast fashion to luxury immediately. And don't forget to order a few extra buttons just in case any fall off in the future. It's always good to have a replacement. Okay, gang, I need your help to grow this channel. I want to make it to 300,000 subscribers. The, so there are three things you can help me with. Like, share, comment each and every video. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscription box down below and the notification bell. My next tip is all about the power of tailoring because I can't overstate 
enough when it comes to looking like a million bucks on a budget, your items need to be tailor-made. So whether it's a dress, a pair of pants, or a blazer, having your clothing tailored to fit your body perfectly can make a world of difference in how you present yourself. When your clothes fit you well, they instantly elevate your entire look, making it appear more luxurious and expensive. When it comes to tailoring, start by focusing on the basics. Look for pieces that are timeless and versatile, such as a well-fitted blazer or a tailored pair of trousers. These foundational pieces can be easily dressed up or down, depending on the occasion, and will serve as the building blocks of your stylish wardrobe. Don't be afraid to invest a little extra in getting your clothes tailored. While it may seem like an added expense, the end result is well worth it. A slightly more expensive pair of pants that fit you perfectly will always look better than a cheaper pair that hangs awkwardly or bunches up at the wrong places. Plus, with the right tailoring, you can make even affordable clothing brands look like high-end designer pieces. In addition to clothing, don't neglect the power of tailoring when it comes to your accessories. If you have a favorite necklace or bracelet that's a little too long or loose, take it to a jeweler to have it adjusted to fit you perfectly. By doing so, you'll ensure that every aspect of your look is tailored to your body, adding an extra touch of polish and sophistication. With a well-curated selection of timeless pieces that fit you perfectly, You'll exude confidence and effortlessly look like a million bucks on any budget. It's amazing how a carefully chosen outfit can transform not just your appearance, but also your mindset. And I've always said that clothes have the power to make us feel confident when we step out the door, if it's the right outfit. When you dress in clothes that make you feel good, it boosts your confidence and adds an extra spring to your step. Confidence, after all, is a secret ingredient that can make any outfit shine. It's not about wearing the latest designer labels or following every trend. It's about embracing your own unique style and owning it with conviction. When you feel confident in your clothing, it shows in the way you carry yourself and interact with others. Remember, fashion is not about how much you spend, but rather about how you feel in the clothes you wear. It's about expressing your personality and showcasing your individuality to the world. By curating a collection of versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched effortlessly, you'll have endless outfit possibilities that allow your confidence to shine through. When you believe in yourself and feel comfortable in your own skin, it radiates through your style choices. People are drawn to authenticity and confidence, regardless of the price tag on your clothing. By creating a wardrobe that reflects your personal style and makes you feel like a true fashionista, you'll not only look like a million bucks, but also feel like it. With a few key style hacks in place, looking like a million bucks doesn't have to drain your bank account. From savvy shopping tips and clever styling hacks to mastering the power of tailoring, you have the tools to transform your appearance. So start today, take control of your image, and show the world the best version of yourself. And I always think that that's so important, especially as we age. It's not about looking youthful. It's not about trying to roll back the clock. It's always about being the best versions of ourselves. You have the power to look like a million bucks, and it's time to unleash it. And a big thank you to Ada Belts for the sponsored video. And thank you, my lovely viewers, for supporting the brands that allow me to bring you fresh ideas. Okay, ladies, I hope you found at least one or two tips to look like a million bucks on a budget. Of course, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. I love to hear your thoughts. Other viewers do too. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.